Ah, hey Nuke, how you doing? Have exams tomorrow? Hey Mud Prince, how you doing? What you up to? Oh, things have been good. I'm just like chilling out. Uh, we're just getting things going, so I'm just kind of in the stages of that. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm busy with the aftermath of horror story move in. Oh, it was that. It was bad, huh? Uh oh, that's no good. But hey, good news is I'm getting a new lease at a better place at the same rate. Oh, hey, they're perfect. That's something. Uh, God is unknown in these parts of parts of studio. I see. <laughs> yeah, what's that supposed to mean? Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. Ah. Oh my gosh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. I'm just still like waking up. Still just like just rolled out of bed, you know. You know how it is. Streamer life. I mean like literally my blanket is like right here. Yeah. Oh. Picked up the wrong thing. No. Like move. Oh my god. OBS, please. Blanket. <laughs> I'm like, blanket, come here. There, see, blanket. Yeah. I, little known fact, I actually sh I sleep in this layout most of the time. <laughs> when I'm not sleeping in the hot tub layout or the um, arcade layout. My third favorite layout to sleep in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, feeling better. Yeah. You make me yawn. Local cat girl is finally online. It's true. Yeah, I've been definitely late the past few. Uh, oh, past few days, I um, I've just been running things a little hot post stream. So, running things a little hot post stream. So it's something that uh, yeah. Oh, hey, see, how you doing? Um. So I'm just kind of, it's, it's catching up with me just like a little bit, if you know what I mean. Well, sort of. It's like, I wouldn't even say it's catching up with me It's as much as it is just like, probably over the next few days I'll probably like shift back to kind of a more normal time slot, hopefully. But anyway, so tonight, tonight we're going to be doing two things for sure, which is Medigal and um, Moonlighter. My goal is, is we're going to sit down and do a whole playthrough of Medigal. Um, the character I'm going to be playing is Dash Gal, or just Dash, I guess. I don't I don't know if they put Gal after her name or what. I don't know how they handle that. Anyways, the point is, is we're playing Dash Gal, who the little tiny bit I tried of her, just because I wanted to see if the characters differed any uh, back when I first beat the game. Um, she's the fast one. Obvi ob it's, it's in the name. It's Dash, Dash Gal. Um, she's the fast one, so it should be a fun playthrough. Um, doing the best I can. The wine is helping. I see. Fair enough. Hey, fair enough. Um, after uh, after that, we're going to be playing some Moonlighter. We're going to try and clear the desert dungeon, which we were really close last night, so it shouldn't be too hard. Um, and we'll probably move on to the next dungeon. Um, and after that... We'll probably play it by ear. Uh, we'll probably be playing. Um, I mean, we might play some Monster Train. Maybe. Uh, admittedly, I'm kind of feeling like I've hit a little bit of like a mental like wall with Monster Train. So I might even throw something else in. I might do something like Samurai Showdown uh, Five or something like that again. Just play something something a little bit different. I don't know. I don't know what yet. I don't know what we'll play yet. But we'll. I'll know better when the time comes. But for now, we're gonna be playing Metagal. Um, so, yeah, get our settings here. Um, let me check the volumes just one sec. Uh, that's probably fine. All right, so no, no. Oh, Medigal, what are you doing? There we go. <laughs> I was like, it, it was just, it was just like, I'm gonna shift the window every time you touch the button. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Enter character's name. Dash. There. Dash, Dash Gal, let's let's go. Had had to reactivate that sub. Aw, well thank you, much appreciated, my prince. <laughs> How's things been? Yeah. Uh, oh gosh, have you played um our type yet? Okay, we're gonna jump right into this. So what are our buttons? We have our flamethrower. Very good. And 
we have our fire dash. Very good. Okay. We have double jump with her. Which, oh boy, that is a really weird feeling double jump, but we'll, we'll roll with it. Y'all give me a heads up that the volume is alright. Plet. Oh, why is that? Oh, shit, I got switched off of dash. Okay, it's not It's not like Shield Gal, who for some reason just like can just do whatever. Volume is good? Alright. Oh, shit, I'm stuck in the floor. Well, here we are again. <laughs> this is like one of the routine glitches that happens in this game. When you go through any like kind of Mega Man-esque gate, sometimes if you hit it too low, you'll actually be pulled through the floor rather than like go through the gate. Um, I'm in the middle of our review script at the moment, uh, playing primarily on PC, PS4, and Switch. Uh, never bought it, but may have to for proper comparison, but like, not really worth the $50 a third time. <laughs> that's that's fair. Um, I heard the PC version, the PS4 versions are definitely the ones to get. Um, but yeah, alright, let's try this again. <laughs> okay. And we'll probably, with uh, with her, probably get the achievement for beating a stage in three minutes, I suspect. Uh, just because she's she's literally built for this. <laughs> that fire is really, really loud. <laughs> yeah, loud gun. Loud flamethrower. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I did it again. I, uh, oh, I jumped out of it. Nice. Preemptively stopping the glitch. <laughs> oh my god, he's dead instantly! Holy shit, it wasn't even like two seconds! Okay, well, we didn't get the achievement amazingly. Bam, just fucking destroyed them. Um, Alright, so where should we start? Um, I guess Shield Gal is probably a good place to start. We'll just take it from the top. Yeah, holy shit. Wow. Dead instantly. I, they give you enough health, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just like, nope. Like. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, my God. What happened there? Oof. It's like the activation on the dash is like a little bit too slow, if you know what I mean. So you have to kind of activate it early. Just like, take me over here. I want gear. Oh, fuck. Okay, there's some spikes. Yeah, you know what? We'll just take that from the top. Yeah. Hey, cuttlefish, how you doing? What you up to? On the chat. Ugh, we need we need the power up that lets our uh, dash charge faster. <laughs> the idea of having powers on cooldowns is like. A cool idea, but it also kind of backfires a little bit, I find. Just a little. Because it actually ends up making things slower in the end. I say as I blaze through the stage anyways. <laughs> yeah. Oop, I'll take it. Ooh, I gotta watch my health. This is getting a little bit dicey. Okay, time to take it a mite slower. Oh, we made it to the mid-boss. Whoa, jeez. Fuck lasers! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take it from the top again. Because it's honestly so fast, we'd be starting from the beginning anyways. I mean, I could've used the gear, but whatever. Ow. <laughs> Everything's just at, like, the perfect height that you need those perfect double jumps. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's the stuff. Yeah, they give you a big big chunk of health there just just for the sake of like keeping your health up, so I should make use of it. Mm. Hate those bombs. Those are especially annoying for her cuz she doesn't have uh she doesn't have uh, a lot of range in her tag. Oh, shit. Ooh, 
this is gonna be actually kind of hard to uh fuck this is gonna be a hard mid boss to deal with because she 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 has to actually be right in the boss's face all right not a big deal this, this is rainbow dash a shield hero this is uh, what <laughs> shield what uh uh there we go I could be grabbing that gear probably every time. Ow, really? Ow. <laughs> like, hit my, bang my toes on it. Oh god, I'm trying to avoid those. <laughs> They're really hard to avoid. The problem is, they have the same problem that a lot of things in this game have, particularly the exploding platforms, which is that they... Um, they have such a large explosion radius after like hitting them that it's like oh there we go. Um, I could destroy the middle one maybe first. There, okay. Easy, easy cakewalk. First try basically. Yeah, there we go. Go up here. We're gonna get our first upgrade, which is good because we could use it. She's definitely seen, there we go, your energy recharge twice as fast, perfect, that's what we want. Um, it, uh, what was I going to say? Um, the thing is, is she's probably going to be the one, there's a lot of like speed related, well, there's a lot of speed related achievements in this one, uh, in this game, and she's probably going to be the character for those achievements because of just the nature of having a good dash, aerial dash, and the fact that she's mechanically faster than all the other other characters. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Ow, really? It's still alive. Oh my god. I'm definitely like, pushing a little bit too fast, a little bit too hard, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Okay, we're at the boss. I have a gear, so I could heal up. I don't know if she's weak to... Oh. Yeah, she's... Oh, she's potentially... Whoa, whoa. Um, I'm going to save the gear. I'm going to just take the death here. Yeah. Oh, shit, I don't even have a gear. Okay. That explains that. Uh, get zapped. I'm heading to bed. Have a good stream. All right. You have a great night, cuttlefish. All right. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, she she seems very vulnerable to um done. Alright. Easy. That was probably still not under like three minutes and forty seconds, but Oh shit it was. There we go. We got an achievement. How is that even possible? It was two fifty five and we got par and we got S rank. So that's pretty good. <laughs> it's hard to beat that. Um we're gonna do Bustigal next. So there we go. We got our first. Uh, we got our first under par. And we also got our first S rank, which is, like I said, not unexpected with um, Dash Gal. Like she's just she has everything you want from a character that's going to be good for um, getting those S ranks and setting those times. Uh, damage does not factor in S rank, as far as I know. Once again, you can tell that these enemies have like too big of a hurt box on their explosion attacks. Uh, oh fuck me! I felt that one. I was just like. We're too close to the beginning to worry about that, so we'll just take it from the top. Anyways, how's everybody doing tonight? I hope everybody's doing well. <laughs> like, any any normal game would not put like a hitbox the size of the full explosion of those on those enemies. That's like, why? Why? Yeah, that is okay though, because they give us a ton of health in this game. Whoop. Okay, grab some health. Ugh, fuck. <laughs> her attack kind of just puts her right in, like, the danger zone for, like, everything! <laughs> there we go. Full health. Well, maybe not full health, but we have health. Come on. Whoa, 
I waited. <laughs> Fuck. Jeez. I waited so long and it just stood there. I was like, okay, I guess it'll just, you know, it'll probably be fine. Okay. The only reason I'm uh, not enough health. Not enough health in this instance, sort of. Yeah, it's more or less that I just keep eating these, like, dumb hits. Because I could be, like, playing smarter and avoiding a lot of damage. Because when these little... The big thing is they just keep hitting us with these, like, little, like, floaty enemies. Oh. Oh. Ate, ate my dash. Shoot. Yeah. Give us that. Yeah, admittedly, I'm playing pretty sloppily, but, you know. I'm dash gal. Whoa! F okay! Okay! We got a weird... We got our... Apparently, she has... Okay, so the last character I played, Shield Gal, um, she, oh my god, okay, she has, she has, like, a power, does her, that does, does that work in the air? Oh my god, her dash actually keeps her floating in the air, that's really weird, okay. Um, the last character we played didn't have a double tap dash, like a tap dash, so I kind of forgot that that is a thing. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, take it from the top. Let me take a look at this. Oh yeah, it, like you float in midair with it. That's interesting. That's a good trait. Except for the fact that it's like <laughs> the way the stage is structured. <laughs> Makes it near useless. What? Oh, caught on the pipe. Ugh. It's a case of like, I'm just kind of avoiding. I keep eating, eating all these like, uh, no, not, not today. Not again. There we go, full health, easy. There we go. Nice. That was pretty clean. Took some damage, but it's all right. Okay, there we go. It's part two. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! No. Um. What was I saying? Um. So the thing with this game is it's a little bit clunky in its own ways. I'm sure everybody can tell that anyways, but um, but they kind of give you like a health bar to compensate that clunkiness, if you know what I mean. Like for the most part, like you actually have like an abundance of health. You never have any health upgrades in this game. I was actually going for a midair slam, releasing heat wave when she hits the floor. Okay, that's kind of cool. There we go. There we go. It's like double jump made all the difference there. <laughs> ah, there we go. So we got our we also got our upgrades, so we're already good on that department, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, right. There we go, boss time. So we don't have any weakness on this one, but we probably can just like roll this pretty quick. Yeah, this is pretty strong, seemingly. <laughs> It's like, it's like the fact that it's an unending rapid shot 
is really good. Yeah, uh, another S rank, and we're below par again. So, look at that. Perfect. Technically a perfect playthrough, even though I did die. So, death, death does not matter in Metagal. Oh, Claire redeeming the cheese. What? So what? Ugh. What is this? Why? Thank you for this gift, Glare. Thank you. Precious gift. Blah. Uh. Get them cheese strats. Thank you. You're correct. So, anyways, how's everyone doing? <laughs> this is this is one of our new redeems. Cheese slice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Claire. I have a I have a fucking cheese eye patch right now. No. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. You cheddar believe it? Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I showed up uh, at the perfect time. I have no regrets. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, so we have two S ranks. There's an achievement for S ranking every stage of the game. We might even go for that tonight. That said, these, this stage is probably going to be a little bit more of a to-do. The warp stage is always giving me trouble, although... Um, we're getting better, like, at this, so it's probably maybe gonna be fine. There's, like, definitely a lot of things in this, though, that are... Uh, didn't make it. Are built around, like, kind of... Uh, like I said, the fact that the game does... Oh, no, oh, piss off, game. <laughs> There we go. Whoa! Ah, uh, shoot. Okay. I hate these platforms. They, they move at such a, like, weird rate. It's so weird. Yeah. But, hey, as I get used, as I get used to the, like, pacing of the cooldown, that'll make a difference, too. To make a big difference. Uh, okay, we're already at the first checkpoint. Okay, we're making good time. Yeah. What? Why? <laughs> Why? Well, yeah. Whoa! 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 Ah. Wow, that was clutch. <laughs> there we go. I'll take it. Okay, we're gonna go for our bonus upgrade here. I think it's probably worth it. Oh, jeez. Ah! Okay, that was really sketchy, but we may we lived somehow. Ah. Okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're gonna take the death here probably, but maybe we'll we'll see how it goes. Um. Okay, I didn't didn't quite. Okay. Why am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? Um. Ah! Oh, I got it. <laughs> I lived. I somehow did it correct. I'm like, am I gonna die on these ones? Uh, not today! There we go. Perfect. Look at us. Didn't even die. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Uh, uh. Ah. Wait, it's down here, isn't it? Checkpoint. There we go. Hey, look at that. First try. What am I fighting for? What am I even fighting for? Oh, did I... I was about to say, did I get the extra thing? I absolutely did. 
I just did so smoothly that, oh my god, what is going on? I'll take it. <laughs> I'm just like, fine. Okay. You know what? Oh, right, 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 right. One of the weirder warp puzzles, like, in any game I can think of. Because you enter the same gates sometimes for these, and it's just like... It's not really that hard, it's just... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Wait, is this a boss room? Oh my god, this is a boss room. Holy shit. Uh, we'll, we'll use a gear just to, like, keep our pace up. Uh... Oh. Ugh, she keeps pulling me into her. Oh, uh, this one's not looking good. Oh, whoa. Uh. Oh, God. Uh. There, got her. Ah, falling asleep in my chair. Oh gosh, EC, take it easy. You get some rest, okay? Hey, it was still well under power five minutes and another S rank. I played Armello yesterday. It was a weird game. Dropped in to say hi before I go into hibernation. Hey, fair enough, heavy. Um, I keep seeing that game because it has like a really pretty art style, but um, I know nothing really about it. It seemed kind of board game-ish. Uh, going to hibernation for work with humans, not demons. Oh no. Oh no, so S rank on every stage so far. It's a board game, okay, gotcha. Um, Metagal, time to do Metagal stage, which of course is just gonna be uh, technically Dash Gal stage. I'm like, I'm back home. You can't hold me back now. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> fuck, I accidentally did a tap dash. It's really scary with her because you really fly forward on them. Okay, right, right out of the gate. Okay. Uh, need some health really bad. Hmm. I should probably try and do this legit. As was say, because there's some health right up here. I just gotta hang tight for it. Ugh. Uh, dash girl. Oh, the hang time on those. I gotta remember that. So, the. Oh god, we're at the beginning of the stage. We'll just restart. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure this is a checkpoint at the beginning of the lava curtains. So the lava curtains actually have like a lot of hang time on the hitboxes on them. So like even though the curtain like moved, like had vanished, it was still technically there. <laughs> Blah. Yeah. Anyways, how's everybody doing? Um, this character's movement scheme looks much more fun. It is way more fun. Like this is easily if i'm gonna sit down and play this game like i would be playing this character hands down because it's just like she's so much more fun yeah oh thank you thank you for the head pad thank you white but yeah anyways how's everyone doing tonight i hope everybody's doing well um yeah. thank you white all right because it's another shot honestly the big problem is just those like fire like pinwheels Like, I don't have time to wait for those. Uh, 
<laughs> I say waiting for every single one of them. Ooh. These these tap dashes are dangerous with her because you're doing a lot of like kind of micro movements to make sure to keep your spacing correct. It's like you accidentally get these tap dashes. Not good. Tap dash, it's not good. Don't put don't put it in your games, god damn it. If I want to dash, I'll push I'll push like a button for it. Oh, didn't quite get that. Yeah, it kinda worked out anyways. Oh, the hang time again. Crap, we'll just rebirth. Ugh. Eh, I better not risk it. And two, I'm like trying to go way too fast. Yeah. Hey, Domarin, how you doing? Now we're into the section with the quick band lasers. Go down here just for a second. Because it's worth the health and it's worth the gear. Because the thing is, if we get anything less than S rank or par or whatever, we can just do the stage again. And that was our final upgrade. So now our uh, fire, I guess, is better for some reason. It's green. Oh, yeah, it is actually way better. It's noticeably better. We live, too. So that's really nice. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is really good. Uh, this is what I needed in my life. This is what this game really... This is, like, the pace this game should be played at. This is optimal, optimal meta gal like play. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'll take a gear. Um, oh, doors this way. I was like, oh no, the tunnel's full of lava. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing good. Oh, meta gal can be tough. We'll have to see how this goes. Yeah, we're not gonna get much damage out of any of this, seemingly. Uh... Uh. Ooh. Oh, I didn't get my charge shot, or... Rude. Uh, she keeps hitting me in a weird... There we go. We got her. <laughs> the pacing was weird on that one. I was like, uh... <laughs> Another S rank. We're below par. So that's S rank in all the core stages. That's pretty nice right away. Uh, all right. Time for Ox Gal. Or OX Gal. Or it's, it's OX Gal, but it's... why wouldn't I say Ox Gal? Is like a little bit tight. Yeah. There we go. I don't need that health. <laughs> I say that now. Like, just give me a minute. But... Like, oh no, I need health. Like, oh my god, we are going through these stages so fast. Another gear. Because it's not even just, like, the fact that she has, um, the air dash. It's also that she has double jump, which... Normally you don't have double jump in this game. This game tends to play it a lot closer to, like, Mega Man, uh, classic Mega Man, than it does, uh... 
anything else. So giving giving a character double jump is really, really helpful. Oh yeah, we're definitely breezing through this for sure. Whew, that was a little close. Ooh, that second jump really like arcs you up really fast. Yeah, or sends you up really fast. That might have been the scariest part of this whole stage. There we go. Boss time. I'm gonna use a gear and we'll see how this goes. Can't damage her when she's doing that. Oh, whoa. Oh. Ugh. I'm just gonna waste my time doing this. <laughs> Guess this is okay. Ah. Uh. I'm trying to decide which way she's going to go because she keeps changing her facing. Oh! Uh oh, I better play careful. There we go. Got her. There we go. This is fine. Enough speed to actually take advantage of iframes. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Wow, that was meant. <laughs> You're supposed to beat that stage in seven minutes. Yep. There we go, another stage down, another S rank. Easy. Cakewalk. Alright. Okay. So normally for conveyance, normally I play the fastest I've been through this game so far. I've only played two char different characters, but the fastest I've been through this game so far is about roughly, I would say probably uh, about an hour and a half, I'd say roughly. And we're pretty much at the end of the game now, and it's been 42 minutes, and I think I spent the first 10 minutes of the stream just, like, kind of milling around, so it's probably only been about 30 minutes. So she is, she's very, very fast. I did not much care wait for waiting there. You know, I'll take it. Yeah. First time I've actually remembered to go back and get that, so that's awesome. Ow. <laughs> But the thing is, is like, even though this is like definitely a game that could have used a little more polish, I really like it. I still think this is a game that has like, you know, there is definitely like passion going into this game. Like someone wanted to set out and make a, make their Mega Man game, you know? And I'm about that. All right, boss time. Pretty fast run through that stage. This boss might actually be a little bit weird just because it's like you have, normally you have Normally, you're kind of a little bit back from this one. Uh, we'll have to see how this goes. Okay. Oh, really? Hmm. Like, this is fine, I guess. Come on. Can't hit you if you don't open your weak point up. Uh, I'll roll with it. Ow. Got it. Okay, that was not that bad. Hey, gorgeous human. How you doing? Um, it's going good. Um, we've, we've hit par and got S rank on every stage we've played so far. First try. <laughs> yeah, okay, that was, that was way easier than I thought it would be. Okay, second last stage. We're, f wow, we are flying through this. We might even do two characters, honestly, back to back. I thought Dash Gal would actually take at least a little bit longer than this. Boy, I was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, she has all the appropriate tools for the job. Explosion radius and things. Oh, um. Okay. Oh, shit! Oh, god! Okay, they took out a platform there. Okay, so they, they want us to do this, like, different. <laughs> okay, well, that would. That's pretty much an unknown. Ooh. Mmm. That kind of sucks, actually. <laughs> they shouldn't have done, done it that way, but. Uh, I. We'll accept this, I guess. Um, uh, there we go. Because normally, normally there's a second platform that you land on with uh, Metagal, and that was in there for uh, uh, Shield Gal's playthrough too. So it's interesting that they decided to remove it for Dash Gal's Dash Gal's playthrough. It's like, geez. Like, they absolutely, it would be fair for them to tool the stages a little bit more to make it harder for Dash Gal, but they didn't do that at all up until now. So it's like, oh, okay, there's just no platform there. I'm just taking the hits, because, like, why bother? Oh, okay, whoops. Yeah. Yeah. The jump wasn't actually that bad. It was just that it was, like, the fact, the way they changed it, you don't know until you fail it once that they changed it, if you know what I mean. Uh. Oh! Ooh! Surprise, surprise spikes, yeah. Like... It was actually the surprise lack of a platform, but yeah, definitely, definitely. Just jump on it this time. Yeah. This one may, might be the first time I don't get an S rank. Okay, we're we're okay. Yeah, gotta wait for these to tick over. Mm. Yeah. There we go. There. Good. Okay, let's keep on moving. Get out of here. Okay, next checkpoint. Get our gear. Drop down here. Yeah. Okay, this part here is pretty pretty bad with every character so far, but I suspect that <laughs> I suspect we'll be okay. We actually have kind of the built-in tools for this job, so I think we'll be probably fine. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, uh, what? Oh my gosh, we actually lived. Okay. Oh god, weird panic dash. I realized I wouldn't have enough for another dash, so I bailed. Uh, there we go. Use use our uh, tap dash. Yeah, this stage is definitely like the most nuanced, so it's gonna be that. Uh, it's gonna be like the one that like is the most like the biggest stickler. Whoa! Woo! Okay, whatever. <laughs> what a weird individual change. It kind of threw me for a loop for this whole stage. Like, dang. Like, really? You had to do that? Yeah.
Ja. Oh, are you kidding? It's like two pixels higher. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you kidding? That's okay. Not a big deal. Uh, hey, Buttercoochie, how you doing? Uh, that was like shocking. <laughs> I was just like, wait a minute, are you kidding? No. Oh. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna just eat those hits, whatever. Oh, right, that's the spot that looks like it's going to do one thing and they do a different. Oh, stuck on the ladder. Oh, that's bad. Damn it. Uh, beat the first ending. Hey, awesome. Congrats. Uh, now you get to play the actual game. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Oof, this one I feel like we're definitely under par or over par. Mm. Oh, this might be a. Uh, this might be hard. Harder. Because. Uh, actually, nah. Oh. The danger here is gonna be, like, getting too close to the tank, I guess. Ooh. Uh, um, do I... Do I fucking spend on this? Ugh. Actually, getting hit by the tank hurts a lot, so I don't, don't like that that much. This one's robbing me. At every at every opportunity, I'm just like, oh, that's unfortunate. We'll go back and redo this stage, but yeah, so so painful. Explosion radiuses. Yeah. Ugh. It's not so much that you can't see it coming, it's just that, like, the radius on the way it explodes is just, like, so much. <laughs> uh. Ugh. There we go. Better. <laughs> Ugh, that one, that one was pretty bad. <laughs> Every time I turned around, oh, wow. Minute over, but we're, like, an E rank. Ugh. You know what? It's kind of worth taking it from the top on that one, I think. Do I go through that one again? Pretty long stage. I mean, I just did it, so... Uh... Mmm... Yeah, we'll give it another shot. Where it's, like, fresh in my mind, I guess. Okay. Do this way cleaner this time. Or way worse. We'll find out. <laughs> It'll be one of the two. Yeah. The actual game. Yeah, it's just like Automata, where it's like you're only getting like a chunk of the story. Oh. Uh. I was about to say, that's gonna absolutely kill me. Like that is that is like probably the thing that's like most noticeable in this game is those those explosion radiuses on things. Anything that has like a uses that one explosion sprite, it's way too big. Uh, 
There we go. Pretty sure the ending where I need to get all the weapons. I'm trying to do that too. Ah, uh, gotcha. Um, whoop. Yeah, the, all the weapons thing is, um, I don't know if it's any better in the new one, but it was definitely really, really poorly set up in the original. Uh, oh! Do it. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, checkpoint. No death. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Dash. for it. Yeah. Ooh, a Tom Tai ending too. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting, I didn't hear about that. I'll have to look into that, see what's what. Uh, get the extra gear, because we are going to be needing these uh, for the next section. Well, not this section, technically, but... Oh, oh. okay, it was fine. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Hey, Paper! How you doing? Whoop. Uh, we are okay. Uh, here we go. Here we go. New Automata ending. That's really interesting. I'll have to look into that. Because that's the thing. The original, like doesn't connect with the with automata very much so an automata ending would be very interesting to see yeah. oh 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 gosh um okay we'll just gear we'll gear that one could have remembered that had I really thought it through that's okay Uh, oh, no fire. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, do I want? Yeah. It's not, I'm <laughs> like, it's not hard to get. So I should probably take it. There we go. All right. Checkpoint and boss. Okay. Kind of nice that they give you health right before the boss like that. Ooh, that's not going through. Ooh, ooh, that is big damage. Okay, the big thing is don't get rammed by the tank, apparently. Every everything else isn't really that damaging. It's just don't get rammed by the tank. It really hurts. Shit, it actually sets you up if you uh, do that. There we go. That should be an S rank, because it was definitely under seven minutes, or eight minutes, roughly. Uh, yep, four minutes and 22 seconds, S rank, easy. There we go. Honestly, it was one of those cases where like one thing throws you off for like the rest of the stage. It's like, oh, they removed a platform, whoops. <laughs> All right, final stage, and this is the boss rush, which might actually be one of the harder things that uh, Dash has to do, just because it, she doesn't really get much of an advantage out of any. Like, she's pretty good at, like, her damage output seems good, but it's just like... Oh, wow. She's right in the corner. Oh. Yep. My nemesis, uh, fast movement. Uh, watching this run has a desire... 
desire uh, Mega Man like that. Uh, I'll have to. Oh. Oh. Can I just like move? She actually moved back because I was behind her. That seemed rude. to mostly full health. Oh, right on right on my head. Ugh. Ugh. Stop running into me with your little car. Uh, there we got her. <laughs> it was not clean, but we made it work. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this is probably the hardest boss, at least of the main set of bosses. She seem she seems to have like the most definitive answers against the flamethrower. Nothing was getting through there. We we did it though. Okay. Ouch. Ooh, that could have almost killed me. Yeah. I'm just like, oh my god, I almost died. Yeah. Watch the run so, uh, like that is softer on any placement, but more on platforming fun. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, we're at to the final. We're we made it to the final boss. Yeah, like I'm about the pace of this particular playthrough, like a lot. Um. Okay, we want to be right over here. Oh, that's really hard to do with her because her tap dash is like so. The rockets are forward so fast. Um, we'll see how it goes. Oh, okay. That's one hit. I guess I can probably use a gear. Oh. Like her movement speed's different than everyone else too, so it's just like even just trying to walk it is like hard. I don't know how many gears I have off the top of my head, but we'll roll with it. Ugh, almost missed it. Yeah. There we go, one hit left. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. There, okay. Big boss time, let's go. Yeah. Show me your skull suit. Yeah. Uh. Okay, just gonna fly up. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> just dodge it all. Ooh, nick me. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was gonna get my dash back in time. <laughs> Whatever, I don't need to do anything cool. Why would I want to do something cool? That would be stupid. Yeah. There we go! We got an achievement! Kill it with fire! And that's, I assume, <laughs> that's Dash Gal's ability. And we got two more achievements, just like Home and Supreme Player. Which I believe is um, getting par on every stage and getting S rank on every stage. So there we go. We fucking just fucking 
I was about to say we aced Metagal, but that's... <laughs> the... <laughs> They use like the sound of like garbage, like hitting like a garbage can for the fortress collapsing. And it's like, oh, okay. There we go. That was that was clean. That that cleaned off three achievements all in one go, just like that. Yeah, we did it. Oh my gosh, that was actually a really fast play through Metagal. Was not expecting it to be that fast. Yeah, how's everyone doing? <laughs> uh, like an exit path game. Exit path game out um that was that was something else wasn't it yeah <laughs> uh, that was <laughs> that was so fast <laughs> I'm actually shocked um all right wow only 2.3 percent of people have gotten an s rank on every stage that was so easy on that one yeah uh, so that puts us at 86 percent so I will update our numbers. Yeah, went from 68% to 86%. Yeah. Uh, the next playthrough is going to be with... Um, let me see. Is going to be with... Um, Busted Gal. Uh, so, yeah. Um... Yeah, I didn't didn't expect that to go so smoothly. That was really really clean. Hey Rika, how you doing? We have to let's like take a moment and just like relax, <laughs> cause that was that was definitely like a full tilt kind of run on that one. It definitely goes to show you though that like you change the character's speed even just a little bit, and suddenly like those par times are like nothing. Like Dash Gal was definitely built for just taking taking those stages apart. She had double dash, or she had double jump. She could air dash. She could. Um, she had a second, a second like dash that didn't use meter. Like there was a lot going on there that she could utilize. So, yeah, dash gal. Why the hell didn't? Why? Why? She she was very good. I uh, all right. I'm here. Hey White, how you doing? Yeah. Did, are you just getting back? You missed dash gal's run. It was super fast we got stormy weather tonight oh gotcha let's just chill out for a minute yeah how's everybody doing what's everybody up to yeah <laughs> Woo! yeah the cats made it i mean keep chatting a while he went to bed ah gotcha i see i see how did how did blaze blue go yeah i haven't played blaze blue with keaton forever he's um he's usually not that keen on playing blaze blue so I was kind of surprised to see him on there with you. Uh, it was actually kind of nice going back and playing it earlier. It, it's definitely been too long. I need to... Uh, I guess soundly beaten from... Uh, sound soundly beaten from Azrael. Uh, yeah, Azrael's a pretty pretty tough cookie. Um, he's, he's a lot like... Um, like, I don't know, like Hakuman or Susano or even like Tagger to an extent where it's just like... They can they can know put some big damage really really fast if you're not used to like how they work. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah. I saw you're playing Blaze Blue. I bought it because of that. Yeah, do it. So speaking of R type, do you think uh, have plans to snag uh, R type final two? Uh, I probably do. Um, at full price, I would like to go in, but I'll probably end up just waiting. Just because like this is the financially responsible thing to do. Uh, I was very tempted though. I was very tempted to go in like right away. Um, like honestly, everything I've seen and heard from it, fair. If you do a uh, PC though, yeah, that's fair. I'm hoping my PC can like, it, I mean, it can probably handle it. It seems not too high strung, but uh, yeah, like, I'll, I'll weigh it out a little bit more. I might still go in at full price just because I do really want to support them. Like, it's just one of those things that's like, like, who thought we'd see a second R-Type final, right? <laughs> so I, I'm very, I'm very down about the idea. I just, uh, yeah, I'll have to, I have to weigh it out a little bit. The 10 ships though, am I right? Yes. Yes. Like, I know Final 2 doesn't have like the full, full set of ships from what I've, 
heard, or at least what the promo stuff seemed to indicate. Which is a little bit of a downer, but I do like the ships that they picked from what I've seen. Uh, so I'm kind of about that, but it's like, goddamn, final having the 10 like, just, it had so many ships, and it really, like, captured um, that, like, cool aesthetic about, like, our type ships. Like, and just, like, it captured the cool aesthetic of, like, um, how you can take, like, a single shape. Like, how you can take a single shape and, like, have so many, like, plays, like, play around with it so much and just make each, like, one have so much character. I just, like, just the attention to detail for each of those ships, like, in their, in our type final, even our type final two, it's just, like, oh, mm, it's so good. Like, I'm about that. I'm about that energy, like, like, even though I'm not, like, a car person, like, I can appreciate the aesthetic of, like, cars. And that's how our, that's, like, the energy that our type captured uh, with its ships in our type final. And I'm, like, I just like that. It's, like, strong, strong aesthetic. Yeah. But, yeah. Anyway, so, how is everyone doing? Huh. I hope that everybody enjoyed uh, that really fast play through a Metal Gal. Ah. Mmm. Mm. Also, I got... So last night when I ended the stream, I had a really bad headache. I ended up waking up and still having that really bad headache, but um, it mostly went away after lunch, so that's good. Uh. Yep, new point redeem. Yep, I threw the cheese in there. I, I'm i just like... <laughs> I'm like, I can throw this in here once, at least once a stream. Yeah... Hmm. Just like looking through stuff here. I'm just like, hmm, I wonder if we should do another playthrough of Metagal, because that would bring us down to just like one character left. We have Busta Gal and. <laughs> I say Busta. Buster Gal and Warp Gal left. Those are the two we have left. Um, like. So, yeah. Uh, we have a new redeem! Cheese! It already got redeemed. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I want to add some new redeems. I'm, like, us talking about it last night really got me, like, thinking about it. And I'm just like, yeah, we need, we need to do something about that. That's, like, no good. I need to, I need to keep things interesting and, like, come up with some cool new things, right? Like, that's an important thing. Uh. But, yeah, Exit, Exit Path is an old Flash game. Oh, okay, getcha. You know what? Is it? Is it like? Was it just called Exit at one point? I might know it. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. Also, I guess another news. My phone didn't arrive today, unfortunately. So, uh, no new camera. Uh, but hopefully soon. Uh, meanwhile, I talked a little bit about um. He was displeased with Mai. I imagine he was. Mai, Mai is like... She's fucking nasty in, uh, in Blaze Blue. Like, I still remember. I still remember, like... I played Blaze Blue for, like, years. I played Blaze Blue for, like, fucking years by the time that, like, Central Fiction came out. Like, I played from day one. I played from day one. And... Panda... Panda... Like, when Central Fiction came out, like, day one, Panda picked up, like fucking my played for, played her like in training mode for like three hours or something like that unbeatable i could not beat his my like i was just like stunned like none of my character every one of my characters was just getting tore apart and i was just like oh my god are you fucking kidding me like my is my is just like a fucking beast and i'm just like oh my god like and the thing was, was like Panda was already like really, really, really good at Blaze Blue, so it was unusual for me like to beat Panda and like with like his best like his main character. But it was like, you know, like for the most part, I felt like I could probably take on like a character that had only been played for a couple hours, right? And it's like nope, <laughs> it's completely destroyed. It doesn't help the fact that pretty much all my characters are at a in a bad like place against my. M the the Makoto my match up is not great. <laughs> it's like stubby punches versus like meaty damage stick. It's like oh no, don't like that. And then you turn around and it's like Kokonoe, and it's like Kokonoe loses all her like 
stuff she can do essentially in neutral because of the homing laser. And it's just like, ugh. That's that's annoying. Like, or rather loses all the antics she can pull off with like uh, magnet and everything. Because if you set a magneton like at any point when they're not like laying on the ground, you're probably, or mid combo, you're probably just going to eat a homing sphere almost instantly. So it's, it's a tough matchup. And then Tau. Tau. Tau probably fared the best, but it's just like, um, still not, still not a good time. Yeah, sorry for not, uh, not being around for the stream over the weekend. Uh, my sister and myself uh, responded to a really bad, oh, responded to a really bad car accident right by the driveway at 2 a.m. Oh gosh, like, no worries, no worries, Tom Ryan. Oh, uh, only one person involved in the wreck and no life-threatening injuries, fortunately. Oh gosh, still, that's, that's scary. Uh, I did all right with Subaki. Subaki's okay. She's she's like pretty good in um, Central Fiction. I'm pretty sure. Uh, you can see the moving background behind this one. Yeah, uh, actually, I kind of like the. It just gives a little bit of like movement to the back of the screen. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, but yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully they're okay and. Uh, you know, recover soon. Jeez. It's always scary when you see somebody, like, when you, like, are right there for a car accident. Like, even if you're not, like, like when you're not involved with it, but you see it, it's just like, oh, God. Like, I still remember, um, this was probably six or seven years ago now. Um, like, somebody right outside our place just, like, went right into the fucking ditch. Like, full tilt. Uh, I've only played Chrono Phantasma Extend Rip. Um, that's like, that's like fine. Like, Central Fiction is like the definitive version of Blaze Blue to own. And, um, it's, it's, it's good. Honestly, out of all the versions of Blaze Blue, I actually didn't like, um, I didn't like, uh, Central Fiction or, or uh, Chrono Phantasma very much. Um, hey Gamer Drin, how you doing? Welcome to the chat. Um, I didn't like, uh, Chrono Phantasma very much. Uh, it felt the most, like, off to me. Like, yeah, the truck with uh, truck he was driving is now the size of a mid. Wow, really a bad hit then. Um, yeah. Um, before Central Fiction Continuum Shift Two was my last BB game. See, to me, like Blaze Blue was like at its best in Continuum Shift Two for me, or Continuum Shift Extend. Like I, I adored it when it was like that version. Even though, even though, it, honestly, like. Towards the end, when I was like playing competitive, it became really clear that it's like an incredibly flawed game, but it's like, like, brokenly bad, honestly. Um, so it's like Central Fiction definitely fixes a lot of those things, but it's also just Central Fiction is just like so much complication on top of complication that it's like, it's honestly I find harder to play than Guilty Gear, even as a, like a person who's played a lot more blaze blue than i've played well it's actually hard to say at this point because um at this point i played guilty gear for quite a few years um like but as somebody who's like played a lot of blaze blue i find guilty gear actually easier to play by a lot compared to central fiction because central fiction is just like so complex like all the complexities over like the four blaze blue games just kind of like pile up and it's just like Central Fiction just becomes a lot like they definitely cleaned up like a lot of systems Which is why it's still the version I recommend like the thing was is like um, Continuum shift extend by the end of it It hit the point where it was like the guard primer system was completely broken like You could get characters that had like block strings that would just destroy every guard primer on another character Basically meaning even if you block everything correctly, they're gonna break your guard if, if they like hit you <laughs> if they if you fucking block their whole block string it's just like oh that's that's bad that's that's really bad <laughs> like literally snapped uh the po pole into uh with a f oh damn really really just plowed right into a pole huh hit electric pole knocked out of power and a couple uh, trees too damn speed was definitely a factor oof oof damn that that's rough um, I remember at my old job, we had the Power Goat. Um, we actually had the Power Goat, I think, twice um, at two different instances because people hit, like, the power line, like, outside where the store is. And it's just, like, both times they just, like, plowed right through and took down the pole. 
Uh, look, literally snapped the pole in two for the force. Damn. That's wild. Um, but, yeah. Like, it's it's so weird because, like, I find Guilty Gear is, like, so, like, um, strangely, like, n nuanced in so many things. Like, it's, like, the way blocking works in the air, like, the barrier blocking, like, the way fucking throws work in Guilty Gear. Like, there's so many things in it that feel so, like, unorthodox and unique to Guilty Gear fucking dead angles. Um, like, uh... There's so many weird, like, things that are unique to Guilty Gear, but somehow, like, because you're never having to know all of them at once, like, it's not that bad, because you can just kind of slowly chip your way through, like, the learning process of Guilty Gear systems. Blaze Blue, it feels, like, almost vital that you kind of know all its systems, like, at once to play it, like, effectively. Um, like, I don't know. It's a weird thing. It's a weird, weird thing. Like, as as somebody who, like, I love Blaze Blue. I love it a lot, but it... It's, like, kind of a love that's, like, soured just, like, a little bit over time. Because it's just, like... I don't know. I just get more of what I like from a fighter in Guilty Gear. So, it's funny how times change and people change and things grow, I guess. Mm. Oh my god, I had a realization earlier. I had a realization... I had a realization earlier, so I've been like, I've been playing, I played Plus Hour the other day. Um, I fucking, like, I really, really like Plus Hour, even though it's the Guilty Gear kind of before I got into Guilty Gear, I still really like it. And um, as an Elfelt main, Plus Hour is kind of a weird one because I'm tending to hop around characters a lot and like feel things out a lot, right? But I'm also like, dang. I would like somebody, I would like to have, like, not, not necessarily Elfelt, obviously, like, that's fine, I can do without playing Elfelt, I, I'll live, um, but I'm just like, wait a minute, if I want to play Elfelt in this game, I should play Justice, that makes sense, Justice is the Elfelt in Plus R, so I need to learn Justice, so that might be a goal, <laughs> I think that might be my next goal, and, um, Plus R is to sit down and actually just like learn justice for some reason. I need, I, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't have like a firm character, so I'm just like, I'm gonna learn ABBA. And it's like, that's a terrible idea. Why would I do something so fucking stupid? Why would I, why would I, no. Learning, learn a character first, then learn ABBA. <laughs> no, like, no, I'm just getting tangled up in like these weird things where it's just like ah. <sighs> Where I'm just like I want to learn how to put like multiple knee missiles in a single combo with Robokai and I'm like I Should commit to like learning Robokai not learning something dumb with Robokai But nope, I'm sold on dumb. So here we are Anyways, so I've decided that the obvious thing is somebody who plays Elfelt is to play Justice because it's just basically playing Elfelt, kind of, even though they're not even remotely similar characters in any way. But I mean, like, plot wise, they are. Yeah. <laughs> um. Ha. <sighs> Anyway, so how's everyone doing? What's everybody up to? I think what I should do is, honestly, I'm kind of debating about doing a second run in Medigal. Or at least, like, starting it. I think I think Buster Gal is probably going to be one of the harder ones to play through. You know what? You know what? I think it's a good idea, though. We're going to play, we're going to do a second run with uh, Buster Gal. So... Here we go. Um, I think we're I think we're good. So, um, let's let's do this. Buster Gal. Um, this should be an interesting one because I don't know what how her character has changed. We don't have to rush because we don't have to worry about power or S rank now. So, gamepad detected. Okay. Okay, she has these as the main shot. That's interesting. These are usually hurt a lot, so this should be especially interesting. 
Okay. What? Oh, she has a little car. That's adorable. T using special in tank mode. Rest of gal will release spring mines. Oh, so she has like tank mode, and then she releases spring mines. Okay, and it's interesting. Okay. Oh god, this is. I can already tell this is gonna be a hard playthrough. There we go. It's gonna be a lot more like planning. Spring mines are capable of killing invincible foes. That's good to know. Yeah, uh, but anyways, I've I've definitely enjoyed this game though. So it's something that like, eh, for what it's worth, like. We'll maybe finish it off tomorrow night kind of deal. And then I'll probably dig into something new. Oh, this looks nifty. It's it's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, that does big damage. There we go. Like, a not Mega Man. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so who is weak to her ability? Um... I think it's technically Dash. Dash Gal. So we're doing Dash Gal stage. So we'll definitely take our time with uh, with her, because I feel like if we don't, we're probably gonna bite the dust really, really, really fast. Yeah. Hmm. She's she's gonna definitely be a unique playthrough compared to some of them because she seems she seems like a character that like has a lot of like added complication whereas like Dash Gal had like a lot of oh shit no double dash or double jump no hey Charles how you doing I guess we can take this one from the top that's no problem no how you doing hey Northborn how you doing what you up to how y'all doing yeah here let me give you a show shout out Charles yeah let me see if this is actually working. It appears to be working, so, yeah. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, how's this going? Hey, Double D! Yeah. Uh, oh, my arms are still active. There we go. Let's go I'm down the clown. <laughs> I'm already on it. Oh! Alright. Don't worry about it. I bet. Yeah. Ah, uh, Apex. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh so my right god! Here. Oh my god, bro. Just right <laughs> in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so I think he didn't win that one. <laughs> okay, that was a good clip. That was really good, Charles. How you doing? What were you up to? Oh my goodness. Uh, here, head pat. There we go. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was wild. Oh, I wish I had more of a more of a stomach for uh, first person. Apex does look really fun. Uh, yeah. I mean, I forgot about that clip. That was a good one. <laughs> that, was, that was easily the best clip that the shoutout has picked out um, for all the shoutouts I've been giving out lately. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so what were you playing tonight? What were you up to? Uh, oh, thank you. All right, we were. We'll pick up where we left off on that one, and we'll. Tr whoops. Or not. We're no. We're not going here. I'm just like no. <laughs> there. Losing my mind playing League. Oh no. Oh no. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. League is. League is stressful. <laughs> I like that. I like that you actually do get to go into car mode with her, though. That's kind of cool. Or tank mode, I guess, is technically what it is. Okay, so she has like missiles, which I need to be making use of. Yeah, she doesn't have double jumps, so that's gonna make her jumps a lot more similar to uh, Shield Gal rather than Dash Gal. Go. Hmm. Oh fuck! I knew it. I was just like, <laughs> um. 
No, I'll actually just start from the beginning. We'll we'll take our take our gear. Yeah. I need to be in like less of a rush though, seriously. Like I could be playing much, much cleaner. And I'm just not. Because I'm just like it's like why wait around? Oh shit, the tank can shoot, it has its own gun. Okay, that's kinda cool. Oh, and there goes our missiles. I do like that the different upgrades for each character do different things, so that's kind of fun. Oh, accidental tap dash, my bad. Yeah, uh, my B. Yeah. Ooh, that's actually kind of a nice little like bounce angle on that. Yeah. No. Oh. Uh, yep, we gotta slow this down. Oh, the turn around. Okay, this could be going better. Like, do I go for that gear? We definitely failed that jump last time. Uh, oh, that was my... Oh, what? <laughs> do I need to... Oh, okay, good. I was gonna say, am I gonna have to use that to get over that? Ooh, I don't have any health. That's not good. I'll use a gear, why not? Uh, oh boy, this character feels bad. <laughs> Especially after Dash Gal. After Dash Gal, this is this is a, gonna be bad time. Well, I guess it's probably only fair that we play like the easiest and hardest characters back to back, right? That's not helpful at all. <laughs> Do it. Oh, even just double tapping dash actually puts you in car mode. Okay. There. Yeah, but anyways, how's everyone doing? What's everybody up to tonight? Also, hey, half a cat, how you doing? Is this D.Va? No? Question mark? Because she because she has a little car, is that why? Oh my god. Oof, these feel like they need to do more damage. Oh my gosh. I can see where they might be really good against certain bosses though. Like but hey. Yeah. Oh, gee. Oh, fuck me. I was just about to say. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. This character. I'm hoping those upgrades are really good. That's all I can say about that. Is it referring to someone else on the character select screen? Oh, gotcha. I always like the idea of like bouncing shots like this, but it's just that they're, this is they're really weak. Uh, they're not what they need to be. We gotta get out of here. Okay, we made it through the hard part there. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh, right. Lasers. I forgot about that for a second. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Ooh. Ah. There we go. 
but like that's the interesting part about like games like this where like you get multiple characters to try like it really changes like the dynamic and pacing of the whole game just based on like honestly like the whole fucking like just just how like look at how different this playthrough is from like um from the playthrough with uh dash gal because like it was like seriously this is germ whoa uh oh um. okay um Ugh. It's such a linear jump. Yeah. Ugh. Good. Okay. Mm. Need those to not be in that exact spot. There we go. Okay, what we got? Now your energy recharges twice as fast. Well, that's helpful. I don't know why we go back that way. Now that I think about it, every single time I've went in a big circle for that section, and I'm realizing it's like there's no reason to go down there. kind of cool. Uh, this is going to get me killed, though. There we go, finally. <laughs> yeah, there we go. But anyway, so, yeah. Whee! <laughs> Her power is tiny car. <laughs> oh, oh, that's probably bad. Uh, we're gonna make it. We'll be okay. It's still good. It's still good. Ah! <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, back a little bit. That's okay. Yeah. I'll get I'll get a feel for this. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. I want that gear. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, the fire was enough. Rebirth. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna probably be enough. Oh, not quite. Oh, stuck on the ladder. Crap. There we go. Yeah. Hey, bear. How you doing? You look so fresh and fly when you're bedecked with cheese. Aw. Did someone say cheese? What? <laughs> Uh, we may have a new redeem. <laughs> I was supposed to say, does this thing stop? Okay, there we go. Okay, we finally made it. Oh my gosh, that was, that was rough. This is... Ugh. Yeah, someone already did it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Alright. That kick. Uh. I'm 
like I don't know what she's going to do. <laughs> Scaring the life out of me. There we go, we got her. Ara ara. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Honestly, for how painful this character is to play, like I'm kind of proud of a C rank. <laughs> it was a it was a hard earned C rank right there. Um, we'll do shield gal, I guess. Oh, thank you, Tomaran. How you doing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, them bits. I figured we'd do shield gal next. I don't know why. Like on the plus side, at least at least she plays similar to Metagal herself, so kind of at least that sort of. Yep, that seems about right. Hmm. Try this again. There we go. Better. All right. I don't know. Maybe I'll get a feel for her or something over time. <laughs> maybe I'll learn this character with time. Probably not. <laughs> Like I said, though, her main gun, even though I feel like it needs to be like a little bit stronger, isn't uh, isn't too bad. Cause it's it's like versatile, right? You can do stuff with it. Hmm, very resistant. There we go. Yeah. Oh, mid-boss time. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> Do I have to blow up two of those? Because it kind of feels like you only have to blow up two of those. go. Hey, Rock, how you doing? What you up to? Uh, whoop, nope. Aw. <laughs> Thank you for the bits again, Tomaran. Thank you. Get our next upgrade. Launches two bus drop grenades at once. Oh, there we go. Oh. Now we're cooking. <laughs> Hasn't destroyed a single enemy yet, <laughs> despite two grenades at once. Yeah, uh, just pop it in to watch a little bit. Hey, very good. Yeah, uh, I'll redeem that. I will take that head pat. Yeah, uh, head pat. Yes. There we go. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I do like the fact that it shows you like on the screen like what her moves are. It's kind of cool. It's a nice, nice, like, little thing. Tank plus power. Yeah. Like, on the plus side, too, at least she, like, feels like she plays, like, similar to how she is when you fight her. So that's kind of a nice addition. Kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. But, yeah. Uh Definitely, definitely Dash Gal is the one to play though. Like, no question. She's she's like just so fun. <laughs> I became suddenly less confident halfway through that jump. Oh. Plus, I mean, like tiny car. What's not the love? Oh 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 oh. Need 
that gear. Oh, we're making it work. There we go. Like, there is something to be said, because, like, there is something to be said for, like, this, like, style character, though, because it does make the game more, like, kind of meticulous, and you have to plan out each of your moves, which I think is interesting. Ooh, ooh the missiles explode on the, on the thing. Yeah. So, like, there is, it's like, like I said, it's just, it's just cool. I like it when you can play multiple characters in different games, or, like, in a game that, like, changes the feel of it each, each time, if you know what I mean. Wow, that was a nice jump. Not what I intended on doing, but I'll take it. Ooh. Ooh, that was mean. Ugh, jeez. I can't get any footing here. Oh. Gotta spend another gear. Oh, I thought you'd jump again. Oh, that's a little dangerous. Oh. Got her. Nice. I was just like, she's gonna dash again. Oh, it was an A rank. Actually, we're really close to the par time, too. That's really good considering how slow you have to play this character. Alright, Warp Gal. Uh, I'm actually surprised I'm doing two runs of this in one night, but I mean, like, Dash Gal was so fast. We literally made par for every single stage and S ranked every single stage. It was so fast. It was so good. I'm kind of curious about, like, the sequel to this game, or I guess technically prequel. Because uh, now I'm just like, I'm like, damn, I wonder if, like, if every character moved, like, Dash Gal, like, that game would be amazing. Uh, just commit. Yeah. That's right, my commitment's unmatched. Yeah. Whee! Oh. Um. Bleh, bleh, it's okay. Car. The answer was car. Oops. Whoa, whoa, he hits. Oh, no, I wanted the health. Not like this. Okay, I mean, we're halfway through the stage now, so I guess that's good. This part probably won't be too different from Medigal's run in it. So. Unfortunately, unfortunately, like, Bustigal isn't going to have any distinct, like, strengths or weaknesses in this section, I don't think. Ow. There we go. Well, I really want that, but... I guess I'm not gonna get it. Okay. Oh, this is this is another instance where we need to use this like weird little platform here. But cool, I guess. <laughs> not what I intended, but I'll take it. Ooh. I'm just gonna give this one a moment. Uh, no. 
Okay. Just gonna feel this out. Did it. There we go. Increase invincible frames from taking damage. Oh my goodness, great. Or her other really good skill, taking hits. So that really says a lot about this character, I think. Oh, okay. That's fair. It's pretty bad when you care one of your characters like upgrades is that they just take damage better. It's like, oh, okay. Uh, my greatest strength, like, tanking. I mean, I guess she literally has a tank, so maybe it's fair. Maybe this is maybe this is reasonable. I'm overlooking the obvious here. There we go. Okay. On the plus side, ever since I've like got a beat on that one, like getting that one upgrade, I've been getting it pretty consistent every time, so that's really nice. Yeah. Uh, Perfect. Yeah. Scared. There. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, are we only put here to suffer? Why? <laughs> um, is that thing gonna flip up? Jeez. Whoa. Yeah, uh, there we go. Okay, next checkpoint. We're doing good. Uh, hey, Hana. Snap that goes to the code noise compilation. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, yep, that checks out. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, uh, like, why is it built like this? Uh, I gotta just commit to being on top of the spikes. That's all I have to do. I'm so used, like, every character so far has had, like, something that they can use to, like, dash through the section, and she doesn't have that. That's okay, though. I know how, I know how these work. I might not have been born in the like upside down platforms, but I was forged in them. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna I'm gonna live. <laughs> I'm like I refuse to die here in this fucking inverted death palace. There. What? No. There. like no what fuck <laughs> yeah there we go oh that checks out that makes sense get my extra gear because honestly I would say that it's probably advisable to have at least like four or five gears by the end of the playthrough because you really want them for uh oh you really want them for uh let me go set me free ah! <laughs> shit i didn't think it would pick me up so fast i didn't want to jump on that platform anyways i don't why would i want to do something stupid like that oh, fuck there. There, we made it. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, 
actually, for some wild reason, maybe it's just that I've gotten a lot better at that stage. I did, I did feel like I did much better at that than I normally do. Ooh, you're not doing so good on this one. Bring it back, bring it back. You can do it. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're like chewing through it. Another C rank, and honestly, like, I'm just getting, I think, probably just familiar enough with the stages that I'm just like, you know, they're less, they're less of a problem. I just, I, I'm just really liking this game a lot. Oh, I'm just like thinking, I'm like, how am I going to... How am I going to get through, um, get to the next upgrade? Um, I guess it won't be that bad. It's not as bad as what I think it's gonna be. Yeah. There we go. Okay, how are we gonna destroy this thing? Oh, that shouldn't actually be that hard. Ow, garbage. Yeah. Oops. Easy. Cakewalk. Uh, actually, it was probably the easiest with her, just because her shots arc so perfectly up right into his eyes. Oh, look, they put a platform here for us because she can't make it otherwise. I was supposed to say, I don't know how we're supposed to make it to the, through that section. So they, they did actually go through and they did retool these stages slightly. Like, <laughs> slightly, quotation fingers. Yeah. Uh, Causes the Buster Missile to release a bouncing cluster bomb and impact. Oh, that's kind of cool. Not really the most like useful thing in the world, I guess, but it's like fine. Yeah. What? Just a random like bee flying through. It's like okay, I guess it's fine, acceptable. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> okay, I'm good. Oh god. Uh, what? Oh god. <laughs> Gosh, I'm glad to be through that section because that could have been really bad. We're doing it though, we're making it. Like, I actually kind of feel like I'm doing pretty A okay right now.
Like, this isn't doing too bad. This is definitely going to be the hardest character, so I mean, like, you know. Oh, that was actually kind of cool. You briefly saw it as Buster, Buster Girl was there for like a split second. That's actually kind of cool. And it loaded in Metagal. Like, it literally swapped her in. Oh, she must be weak to Buster Gal. This is like, I don't know. That was like the easiest time I've ever had against Metagal. Usually she's like, she's, oh my god, S rank, look at that. Um, usually she kind of um, has the capacity, like, it's a really simple game plan, but she's usually just kind of like tanky enough that it's hard to like chew through her, um, whoop, uh, whoo, yeah, through her um, defenses. Cool, that's not useful to me up there. Yeah, there we go. Much better. I think the big thing I need to realize here is with the pacing of the enemies in this, like, using a lot of missiles is, like, advisable. Because that's, that's, like, your core straight shot, really. Like, the, the little ricocheting shots are cute, but they're not, like, really what you're using uh, for most of this. Yeah. Okay, checkpoint. Yeah. Oh, we only got one missile. It's fine. Ow. It's not fine. <laughs> Please bring mines. You gotta... You gotta... I need you desperately to land on the platform. There we go. Ow! What? <laughs> Get out of here. That respawning, gosh. Ooh, did not like that. Oh, oh god! Woo! Oh my god, apparently I can air cancel that. Ah, oh, fuck. I kind of knew it, but... Eh. Okay. I mean, the checkpoint's right down here, so it's not a big deal. Oh no! Oh no! We were on our gear! Why were we... Do no! That's not good. Well, uh, we'll get another gear for f fuck. I was about to say we'll get another gear for free, anyways. As I spend two gears accidentally. Okay, keep on moving. Uh, I kind of want to do, like, just a little stubby jump there to get around, but that's okay. Yeah. I'm gonna miss this game when it's done. I'll have to... I don't know what Mega Man game I should move on to next. Apparently this even has like the, like I was saying, it has like a, uh, has a prequel, so I might even have to look into that. I'm like, I need to know, I need to know the important, the vital, the vital backstory to Metagal. I need the answers, as they promised at the end of the game.
Which honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that it was... Oh. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. If it... <laughs> the ending of this game has a lot of like, and by the next game energy. Um, <laughs> but if it wasn't for the fact that it's honestly so like kind of wholesome. Oh fuck me. Uh, fuck me. If it wasn't for the fact that it's so kind of wholesome with its like energy, I probably would have frowned more. It's just like, I'm gonna make another one of these. And it's like, okay, I, I accept this. Good on you. Those don't hurt. Ooh. Ooh, damn. She got blown up there. Ah. Hey, an A rank. That's not bad. Look at us. We're just flying through this now. We climatized to Bustigal and we've we're fucking doing great. Nothing can stop us. Uh. Ah! <laughs> ah, whatever. I didn't want it that much. Yeah, I got the zoomies. I got the zoomies. Ow! <laughs> I got the zoomies in my tiny tank. I mean, when you're starting at the very beginning of the stage again, you might as well just, <laughs> like, exit out. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You give me a tiny car and I will absolutely have the zoomies. Honestly, I think that I'm just saying that I think that's like that should be my next like stream funding goal. I need a tiny car that I can drive around. Okay, whatever. I didn't want it anyways. Oh, well, that sucks. I'm just like... <laughs> I'm just like, we're all gonna have to come together as a team to get me a tiny car. It's really important. I'll thank you all in advance. There we go. Um... Bleh. Oh gosh, it doesn't quite reach. I mean, at least we're getting a bunch of gears. It's actually kind of funny that they put two. So oh, fuck me. Put two so close together there. A comedically uh, small car for, all <laughs> for your cat. Exactly. Exactly. It's what I need. Yeah. Uh, I'll use it to drive from my bed to the kitchen and back to my bed. <laughs> Code, you do not need a tiny car. Okay, what? I want to hear your logic why I don't need a tiny car. And then you can hear the logic why I do need a tiny car. Don't oh, fuck me. That's a fucking hard jump. <laughs> That's really mean. Oh, uh, that is not a good spot for fucking uh, busted gal. You're perfectly capable of moving your own body and your own legs uh, from your bed to the kitchen and back. But I'm not doing it in style like I would be with a tiny car. You gotta think about the aesthetic white. You gotta think about the dream. You can do it with style with your legs. No. I've tried, it didn't work. Okay, how do we fucking deal with this thing? Um, do I... Uh, 
Okay, it was just it was just like the timing. If you go first thing, it's gonna mess up. What? Yeah. Just gonna muscle our way through the section. There we go. Checkpoint. Yeah. I just have a mental image of Conan riding a tiny Lamborghini on our way to get cheese. <gasps> oh my god. That's exactly what I was imagining, basically. That's what I imagined, too. And then I'd drive my tiny car to the kitchen, and somebody would throw down some cheese, and it would just be like, Yes! Ha! <laughs> I live the dream. I'm living the dream. <laughs> All right. What? Okay. Ooh. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Woo! <laughs> I thought that would work, but it almost worked too well. What? Uh. So much fire. Whoa, jeez, that was way closer than I thought it would be. There we go. Definitely needed that. Oh, foul. Rude. Play it safe. I won't go for the gear, just because we do have like 10, like, which I think is probably ample for the next section, so. <laughs> Wonderful. Exactly. <laughs> Lamborghini Macra. <laughs> oh my god. Disappointed. <laughs> my girlfriend doesn't support my dream of having a tiny, tiny Lamborghini. Like, I just have a tiny little car. It'd be great. Okay, we made it. Okay, boss time. What if we make one of cardboard boxes? Cats love boxes. <sighs> mm, you got me there. That could that could work. Oh fuck! I'm on the gears again. God damn it! <laughs> How did I end up up here? Oh jeez. This could be going substantially better. I'm trying to shoot this thing with missiles and gosh dang is it not working. Can I just get in this thing's face? Yeah, that seems to be better. I'm gonna maybe take the, take the L on this one, but you know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, Sir Drevel. Uh, she has a cardboard, but Sir Drevel. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, that's the goal. She has a cardboard box tank. That's the goal. Okay. I, I believe in Sir Drevel. <laughs> Suvedril. Suvedril. Okay. Oh. Too focused on trying to get this, like, lined up. Oof. God, this might actually be really hard for Buster. Um. Ugh, really?
Tiny car fund, yes. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Minitor. I noticed that something played, but it didn't pop up as a donation on my list here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Small car fun. Beep, beep. Yeah. <laughs> I heard the sound, I'm like, that's familiar. What's that sound from? <laughs> Local cat girl forgets her own donation music. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I should be really familiar with it after like this week. That needs to be a there needs to be a horn sound. I don't disagree. I might have to do something about that. Also, I fixed um after after we talked about it last night, I fixed um the um, I fixed, uh, the good luck, uh, I fixed the good luck, uh, sound. I did the more obvious way, which is to actually just, like, make the sound louder off of, like, just download some audio editing software and just do it that way. Like, that's the obvious way to do it, but it's just, like, it's a pain because I just don't want to download audio software. Ugh, this is, like, slow, but I'm getting it done. I wouldn't actually hit. Look at that. God, world's slowest boss. Oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> and see, it could be just that cute if I had a tiny car. It'd be great. There we go. Yeah. Ear wiggles. Yeah. I'll s but yeah, thank you again, Minitor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next stage. This is the last big stage, and then we have the boss, so we're almost there. Genius. Genius plays. Oh, never mind. I guess it's fine. Oh jeez. Um it's fine. <laughs> I do like the fact that your sh your gun is actually like different while you're in tank mode, which like I should be making more use of, but honestly the grenade shots are still pretty good the whole for the most part, so it's like just not really a lot of reason. Yeah. I'm not going to touch those. Ah, really armored. Oh, jeez. Didn't even see that thing there. Okay, how are they going to approach this? I assume they're going to approach it just like Met uh, Metagal. Which is, yeah, see, they added the other platforms back in, so it's just with Dash Gal that they remove them. <laughs> you can see why I was confused, right, on that first jump, right? Because <laughs> they completely removed those platforms for no reason. <laughs> the worst part is, is it's technically like a blind jump because of the, like, angle of it. Uh, we hit a checkpoint. Uh. Oh, 
Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Didn't make it. Not quite high enough. Hmm. I wonder what... Um... Hmm. I am really thinking about what I should play next, though, to scratch the Mega Man itch. Oh, wow! Okay, those start really early, which is really good, because it saved my life. Ooh, accidental tank. That was almost dangerous. Also, I'm glad I didn't spring myself directly into those spikes. That would have been embarrassing. <laughs> oh, fuck. Just commit. I didn't even have to be over here. Ah! Um, ah! Ah! <laughs> we made it! <laughs> Just commit! Oh my god, that was... <laughs> that was really scary. I'm lucky I made it through that part first try. Because I definitely 100% did it wrong. Here we go, get our free gear. Ow. Now we're going to do this part here, and we're going to do it first try. We're not going to do it first try. Probably. I guess, like, the thing with this character, too, is it's, like, really about, like, stacking your attacks together. Yeah, they remove platforms. They remove platforms for Dash Gal. That's interesting. They legitimately thought Dashgal was too good for this section, decided to make it harder. Yeah. Uh, this is gonna be hard. I can already tell. But, wow, um oh oh th that's not a wall! I didn't know that. Okay, the more you know. I didn't know that at all. I've been treating that as a wall this whole time. Like an idiot! Like a fool! It's taken me four playthroughs to realize it's not a wall. Oh, fuck. <laughs> On the plus side, we have 16 gears, which is wild, but, you know. Yeah. Yes. No. Yes. Oh, nope. You know, play tag with lethal projectiles once, it's true. Better make it count. Alright. No, stop. Oh, it is a wall! Wait, whoa, 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 what? I went through the back end of it. What? Huh? I am so puzzled. I don't know what the hell's going on. No, oh, well, that did that wrong. Tactical retreat. How am I going to do this? I actually don't know how I'm going to do this, but we'll do our best. Oh my god. Um. Nani? Set the mines before the lava goes down, I guess. I'm I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Nani indeed. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh my god. No. Oh, this section feels like it's gonna be like... It's this one jump. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. This is really, really hard. No. Why? Ah. Okay. Not gonna get a good rank on this stage, but I am gonna end it with a lot of gears, which is still pretty fun. He needs a good rank when you have gears, anyways. Like, seriously.
What is rank ever done for anyone, right? Okay, yeah, that's definitely what you do. You release the mines before the lab is even up. So you go like that, and then you wait for the lava actually to be fully gone, because <laughs> don't do not do that. So overrated, right? I know, right? Yeah. Oh, the lava is like got like mean hang time. That's why I'm so slow, like going past it. Because I'd normally, I would normally be much quicker, like on the draw for like, when this lava curtain goes down here, Active, 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 active. Good. <laughs> it has to be fully, fully gone. And it will even hit you still when on like the final frame when it's basically invisible. So it's like, yeah, it, th these lava curtains are way meaner than they look. Example, example B2. B2. Example B2. 2B. This is sadistic. It's definitely something. It it there's like two big hitbox like no nos in this game. One is the like explosion, the enemy platform, just the basically the self destruction explosion they use for a lot of enemies and platforms and things in this. It uses the full size of the sprite. That's you don't do that. You don't do that. You just don't. Uh, and the other one is these hanging curtains. These things. These things actually. They're they they're they're there for way too long. There we go. Oh, never mind. Okay. The problem is, is they encouraging me to go extra fast. Oh god. See that's my concern, is that's a big jump. You can actually jump it. Oh, well, that's interesting knowledge. So they're not active at all on the ceiling, but they're really, really active the whole time they're down. That's really interesting, actually. Learn, learn something new every day. I assume those things were like super active the whole time. So they're not actually anything when they're up there. I guess it's a good trade-off, sort of. It's the only way we're gonna beat it, so. Mm, okay. Ah, it goes down. <laughs> I thought it was gonna go over. Dr. Not Wily's just like, what if I just make the platforms go downwards instead of forward? Oh, well. What if, what if the platforms just slowly sink Mega Man down a pit? There we go, checkpoint. What? <laughs> yeah, that would kill me if I touched it too. That's why I was so scared of that jump. We're gonna make it. Oh my god, they give us two of these here? Because you can't make it otherwise. That's because this character is not good. Okay. made it. I'll take it. Did I go for the gear? I really don't need that. That would just, that would be like the worst kind of greed to go for that gear. Mm, no. Mm, no. Okay, I resisted. Okay. This one, this should actually be a pretty easy boss on paper, I guess. 
split. Or, or our missile just doesn't do any damage, in which case it's going to be a much harder boss. to have Ooh. this is about to say what if I what if I just like go back and shoot but that's not gonna work Oh, it's I just realized it's like little tank versus big tank. Also I just have to say, like this tank sprite actually kinda good. Like it's it's pretty decent. I like that they gave it an eyeball. Not just because it's his weak point, but also because it just I think it just has a lot of character. Yeah, that, that's fine. F for... It's finally done. Alright. Final stage. Let's do this. take it. <laughs> I'm just like, this is fine. This is good enough. Yeah. always gets me just because it's so sudden. <laughs> oh. We have so many like healing items that it's really we can really just like bully our way through. Yeah. And that's a okay. That's a reward for dying a lot earlier. I'm actually shocked how much damage uh, Medigal takes. Alright. She's kind of, kind of great during the boss fights. Like, she's... Except for the the refrigerator or whatever you want to call it, that one that one wasn't so good for her, but really, yeah. Keep doing it a little bit too late. Ah, uh, hey Ive, how you doing? Ooh, that worked. 
these explosions, this animation, that is one of one of the big things that this game does. It does it a lot. It uses that one explosion animation for a lot of things, and it's no good. Uh, I had a big day today. Oh, very good. Uh. Okay, final boss. Let's go. Wait, that- oh my god, that actually does damage. Oh my god, she's the only character that can damage this thing before- before- <laughs> before it drops the bombs. Oh my gosh. She's the best character ever. I love her. That's right too. That's right too. Her mines, uh, it specifically says it damages enemies that, uh, are immune. Well, I love it. Yeah. Everything explodes in the same way. It kind of does, yeah. <laughs> Just stands there immediately, gets shot. Done. Ah, we did it. We got an achievement. Taste my freedom. Uh, stretch. Hey, we got an S rank on that one too. Nice. But I mean, <laughs> you think it would be like a like multiple explosions or something? No, it's just bonk, <laughs> and then fortress falls over. Yeah. Uh. Everything explodes the same way. Everything explodes the same way. The trill the thrilling sequel to Everybody Poops. Wait, what? As this is for Super Duper Code. Ah, gotcha. Uh, that works. We did it. We beat Metal Gal again. Two in one night. Cause let's let's fucking go. So that is that is our um. That puts us at ninety percent. Um. That means we just have one playthrough left in Metagal, which will probably be tomorrow night. It, um... Uh, so it'll be a four, and it'll be Warp Gal. Uh, so... That was, that was not bad. Um, not nearly, not nearly as good as... Aw, Gunella! Aw, thank you for the subs! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Enjoy your sub, cuttlefish. Enjoy your sub, uh, Kakio thick art. Enjoy your sub, uh, Kev. Yeah. Aw, thank you. How you doing? What you up to? How'd the rest of your stream go last night? Yeah. Uh, ah, well that was that was a pretty good run. Definitely, definitely hands down though. Dash Gal is the best like character to play in this game. Warp Gal should be comparable to Dash Gal though, so it should be a fun playthrough tomorrow. I'm currently supposed to be working. I see. That's fair. Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta take a break into your own hands, though, right? Nah. The Aussies retain first, second, and third on the sub gifting. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You're right. Look at that. <laughs> Very good. Emails can answer themselves. That's like basically what they do sometimes, right? Yeah. Sometimes an email just like eventually just kind of fills itself out and sends itself. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So it's 2.41, 2.41, and we, we just finished our fourth playthrough of uh, Medigal. You know what? Even though I started, <laughs> even though at the very start, I wasn't, um, I wasn't, like, in love with Bustigal. I do like kind of how, like, how different it was. So it was pretty good. I took the day off today. Oh, awesome. Congratulations. Aw, very good. Uh, plus, I like that she had a tiny car. It's inspired me for my next my next dream fund, which is going to be for a tiny car. 
for me to be able to sit in and drive to the kitchen. Uh, I'm just like, I need it. Uh, ha. But anyway, so yeah, how is everybody doing? Uh, it also means that probably once Metagal's done, I'll be able to, I'll be a little bit more free and available to dig into probably Bayonetta. Uh, I went to get new glasses and new contacts and new haircut and new diagnosis and new medicine. Hey, awesome. Wait, new diagnosis? Like, hey, but all the new stuff. Oh, fresh new hive. This is hive season two. Bayonetta, the worst edition. ADHD. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. It's a hard one to get diagnosed for. Um, I had a friend who uh, did that like the other year, and I know that she was like, oh, good God, it, it actually is really, really hard to get diagnosed, um, at least in Canada for ADHD. Um, so ho hopefully it goes well. Uh, but anyway, so young. Yeah. Oh my goodness, yes. Uh, um, mm. So anyways, I guess like, um, so yesterday, um, when I ended the stream, I was actually feeling, I had a bad, bad headache, like the worst headache I've had in a long time. And, um, I, uh, I managed to, um, or rather when I woke up, uh, still had it, still had it, it was really bad. So, uh, I took a pill and by mid afternoon it was gone. So I'm feeling, feeling much better tonight. Um, but yeah, so otherwise though, um, otherwise, uh, phone didn't arrive yesterday, so, um, I hope it'll arrive either tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, I noticed that it was basically like, um, yeah, it was, it was like, um, Best Buy is like, it's shipped, it's shipping. And I'm like, I check the shipping progress and it's like, it hasn't left the post office. I'm like, oh. <laughs> like like it still has the whole trip to go and I'm like oh but I mean I guess the thing was was I ordered it like on Friday so it was like probably probably both a case of the individual like seller was probably not um might not have shipped it out Friday so it might, ju might have just got shipped out yesterday I went back to my old psychiatrist and was like, so this is what's up, this is my history, this is my proof it happened outside of work context, this is my proof it happened years ago, and this is my self-talk uh, during it. And the psychiatrist was like, well, it sure does sound like you're diagnosing yourself, and I agree. <laughs> there you go, wow. Um, we let it go, uh, we let go of it, uh, our hands are no longer holding it, it's practically with you. Best buy. Yeah, basically. Every time I got into a psychiatrist, it was like, okay. What you think you have, like, goddamn, I'm here for you to tell that's what I'm paying for. Oh, like, psychiatrists, uh, yeah, when they're, when they're like, so if this is what you think it is, maybe this is what it is. And it's like, they're very non-committal, and it's like, well, for how much you're being paid, I think you need to have an opinion. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm like, I am maybe coming here for your professional opinion on this thing. And it's like... <laughs> like, like it really, it really is like a thing that it often feels like. It's like, you know, it's, uh, I suppose this kind of helps. I uh, come from psych uh, psychological, uh, psychology background, get chef, yeah. And I'm sure, like, that's definitely, like, a... It helps give you some, like, additional clarity for some of these things, for sure. Which I'm sure, like, just as, like, a self... Like, you know, your ability to, like, you know, kind of... Uh, you know, self-approach... Or approach it yourself, probably, like... You know, what, what would you call it? Like, um... Like, your own ability for, like, self-care is probably... Something that having a little bit of a background in psychology probably benefits from. If you know what I mean. Uh, last one I got into, I wanted to try to diagnose from zero, try to find out what was happening uh, with me instead. He looked at uh, the meds I already taken, made uh, the doses just go up and that's it. Yeah, that's no good. That's no good. Big issue with a lot of things is you need to go in there with a list of things you want to talk about and kneel them towards a particular direction, which, yeah, that makes sense. 
The thing is, not all psychiatrists are good. Yeah, that's also very true. That's very true. Yeah, like, it's one of those things that you have to kind of approach it like, you know. It's, it's like, sort of when I first, like, it's sort of like my HRT doctor. It's That was, like, my realization that some doctors don't, um, they might be good, but they might not have, like, the same, like, bedside manner. Not all doctors have, like, that kind of soft touch, like... Not all doctors have that soft touch of, like, you know, just being like, hey, like, okay, like, ba basically, it's just like, when, like, my doctor does not have that, so it's like, everything's, everything's very blunt and, like, brazen, and it's just like, oh, I need a minute. <laughs> I'll never forget the one I got to ask uh, for him to forward me to a gender clinic, and he said I should forget this gender thing for now, focus on what's more important. Oh, yeah, and that's like, like, it's literally just like forward me, like, I want, I want that, f I want to be forwarded, and yeah, otherwise, like, peace out. Uh, <laughs> oh, um, I had a uh, psychologist, uh, uh, Psycho psychi psychiatric psych you know, um, that only just up my SSRIs and didn't actually give me tools to help with my situation. Ah, uh, gotcha. Uh, hmm. I don't have a whole lot of experience with like psychologists and stuff like that. I do have like a little bit, just like when I was younger, because um, uh, I don't know how, if I spelled that word word correctly. Hey, no worries. Um. Uh, that's all the ones uh, I got to, yeah. Like, when I was younger, I had a little bit of experience, because it was when, like, uh, I got, like, diagnosed with, like, learning disability and, like, some some things like that. Um, they didn't really go too deep into it. Um, there was, like, talk about, like, ADHD, but they didn't really, like, go into it, so I never really got diagnosed with that specifically. Um, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's very hard to find a good one sometimes. Yeah, definitely. Definitely.